Royals, Dean Jones and Farooq Engineer in the studio. I'll start with you, Farooq. Not everyone would be a Rajasthan Royals fan, but this is one team people would want to see winning, especially after what's happened. I think primarily because of Rahul Dravid, because he's such a nice guy, and um, he's captained the team magnificently. You know, he's led from the front. He just didn't allow the Sunrise batsmen to settle. You know, there was one, I'm not sure, a blur getting the substitute fielder, which made all the difference, really. What a brilliant pickup and, and, and run out there, Rahul Shukla. No? That's I mean, correct. Was the bowler really injured? I mean, it's questionable. You can talk about that. But thoroughly deserved victory for Rajasthan Royals. And Brad Hodge played the innings of his life. I, won't, I don't think he'll play better innings. Right. We, we'll talk about that. Dino, back to the question that I asked Farooq. Uh, not just he mentions about Rahul Dravid being the favourite, but the turbulent times that they've seen would help other players because not every player is corrupt. The ones who are playing the game mm. really hard, for them, this would be a welcome change to, to register a win like this? Yeah, we were listening to Brad Hodge at the end of his man, when he accepted the Man of the Match award. And I think, the thing, I think they're just happy to get out on the park. And play and get away from the cameras and the and the and the and the people and the attention and have some fun. You know, we are playing the game. It is supposed to be for fun and all that. And that was evident the way they come out today. The pitch wasn't great. It sort of suited the sunrises a little bit. It was overcooked probably one day. And that's understandable. We've had um, 46, 47 degrees here and all that type of stuff. But it was a bit of a scrap between these two. We expected that. But, uh, but ultimately, probably the best team got through. There's no doubt about that. We always thought that Sunrisers, their bowling is out without doubt. I still think it's the best bowling in the competition. But they do need some help with the batters. And the batters let them down again. Okay. What, what about point. the pitch? What a contrasting pitch. Well, you, uh, Yesterday Farouk, the ball was you... coming out of the bat nicely. Yeah, exactly my question. You've played on the Fir Firoz Shah Kotla yes. pitch many a times. How do you explain that? Yesterday looked like a belter. Of course, I'm sure they've used different strips for the two well, games. Well, indeed. This, this strip obviously has been played on before. Because yesterday's strip was a magnificent test match wicket. The ball coming out of the bat nicely. And that's great for seeing stroke play. You know, people hitting on the rise. But there's no harm with a pitch like this. We enjoyed no, no, the game. It was a nail no, no, I'm not criticizing the pitch at all. But the ball was stopping and keeping low, which is not conducive to stroke play. But 132, they must be licking the wounds. Why didn't they get 15, 20 runs more? Right. How often have we said that, though, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Only 15 or 20 runs more would make all the difference. Okay. But uh, Rahul Dravid, I think, captain the side extremely well. His bowling changes were very good. And of course, having a guy like James Faulkner in the side, who can bowl genuine Yorkers? Mm. How often have we said that? Yeah. We, we've been talking about good performances. One that we saw was from a man who was playing for the losing team. Okay, let's talk about Sammy here. Mm. It's a great leveller, the game. You know, at one point he was in a high, picked up that stunning catch, scored runs, picked up wickets, and then bowls that last over. Last over is a very important thing. As, as coaches talk about, it's the first two balls the most important, whether you you got nine runs to play with or 12 runs to play with. Your first two balls, you can't have any more than, say, two or three. Though, isn't it? One with a long hop, another one a nice juicy. You've got a ball that's quality. 19 overs old. So, and these white balls get very, very soft, okay? So when he bowls a half tracker down, halfway down, it says, hit me. That ball stands up and it's got nuts and topping and ice cream on it. And you just <laughs> go bang. And most guys, even with all respect to Farouk, he's, he's just turned 70, or 60, sorry, 60. Uh, shh, shh. Uh, he, he didn't hook You're it for six. You're my prospects now. Yeah, I know. So, so basically, yeah. there were some poor choices by Sammy to bowl that, the, that, that particular ball. When you're at the death, you've got to hit your defensive lines and lengths. And what's Farouk and I have been saying, but particularly for you've got to bowl your Yorkers or bowl the full ball outside off stump and bowl to your field. Bowls are halfway down track. The, the, the crowd That's the field last is. thing you want to bowl, oh, isn't it? Sure. I mean, exactly. Perhaps he didn't warm up before oh, bowling that very crucial over. Well, he's, batted, he's, thinking, he's batted for so long. Yeah. Bowled three overs But he wasn't light for man of the back. match. I mean, taking two wickets and exactly. having... Played some magnificent warm up. shots. I'm I didn't take him one more wicket. Yeah, I'm guessing he was warm enough uh, playing uh, for such a long time in that game. Uh, looking at the playoffs now, oh. they're just one win away from the finals. We've got the graphic on, uh, I know it's your favourite team, Mumbai Indians, but looking at the way Rajasthan won today, uh, would you say that m momentum will be with them? Certainly, the momentum will be them. The, the confidence that they have got from today's win will certainly help them in the next game. Mumbai Indians, on the other hand, have lost their last game. So, I mean, uh, they've, they've got a couple of days to pick themselves up. That's where good management, good sort of good captaincy, good, good sort of off-field 
support, I, all, all these things count a lot there. I disagree here because, the, the, firstly, the three teams now, that what we've got now, they're into the Champions League, right? So right. they've made it. So that's a big win there for the Rajasthan Bulls. I disagree a little bit too, Farouk. And the reason why is that they've got to travel tomorrow, got to get themselves ready in Kolkata. Mumbai are re- already in the hotel. They would have practiced today at Kolkata. They would have sat back, got out of the heat. And these guys have got over this, the Rajasthan boys have got to get over this win. They've got to go against Mumbai, who no doubt are smarting after their eyes. I still think Mumbai Indians okay. are red off favourites. But that shouldn't make any difference, really, you know, because Calcutta oh, is travel, not, travel takes Calcutta a not lot. going abroad. You know, just an hour's flight from here. Yeah, but, or, but you know, it, yeah. it happens in tennis. The guy who plays the second semi final yeah. usually is at a disadvantage yeah. because the one who's played before has relaxed a little more. We'll see if that happens yeah, or not. I think We've, tennis is a different game because you really, really carry yourself there, of course, in this heat. They're all sweating and doing, but they've got time to recover. All right. You can also say that they've had a net today, whereas Mumbai maybe have not been out in the middle today. All I'd right. rather have it the other way. I'd like to rest <laughs> up a bit before a final. Okay, different choices. Quick yeah. question, final one uh, to you, Dino. Uh, we saw a bit of needle in the contest. Yeah. Uh, uh, you enjoy that? And, 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 and I know Haji came out and said that that wasn't really a sign to uh, Sami. He has got his kids of his own, but everyone would know. Yeah. Uh, but everyone would know. That was, you know, taunting him a bit. It might be a little thing that it's, he, he gets in the field and, and we see it. We play them on the highlights or NDTV, the guys, their reaction, all that. And, and maybe it's just getting on their wick a little bit to say, look, enough's enough. Everyone else has got kids. Like, oh, you're, so, carrying so on, you're carrying on. You're carrying on. You know, I know it's your first child, and I, but you're ca- sucking the thumb today. Yeah. And they said, well... The boys have got long memories, trust me. And when that happened, when he belted out one for six, well, here we go. I've got kids too. So, But, I mean, Hodgie is not an expressive person. No. He's, he's a not. very, very quiet. I mean, one of the finest nicknames in Australian right. cricket was a guy called Ashley Mallet. The mildest, meekest person. Mm. And his nickname was Rowdy. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's, but, I mean, this guy is the same. He's, he's played for Lancashire. That's how we know him. Right. And um, he was so elated by that six. He threw his helmet off. And I think the first thing that came into his mind was, let me yeah. get my own back at Darren Semi. Right. But a bit of needle is good. Yeah, that's absolutely. Yeah. I mean, yeah. spectators love it. He was probably rubbing it in, and maybe he wanted to make it to the highlights package that we show here on <laughs> NDTV as well. Thanks so much for talking to us, Dean Jones, Farooq Engineer. Yeah, yeah.